there's a couple teams you could really put in the category of uh, underachieving this year, and I'm talking about two of them today. I'll get to the Padres game next, but Houston's certainly one of those teams. Uh, they've really struggled over the last seven games offensively, but uh, keep in mind all of those games were played at home. Uh, they're much better offensively at home than they are on the road. They have won seven of their last 10 at home and average 5.2 runs per game over that course of time. Now, this is a Minnesota team. You look at their away record. They've won 10 of their last 15 on the road. But, you know, keep in mind, three of those four teams have losing records, namely the Nationals, Angels, and White Sox, who are combined 62-106 and 106 so far this year. So that 10-5 and five in their last 15 on the road uh, doesn't overly impress me considering the level of competition they faced. Uh, Ronald Blanco gets to start for the Houston Astros, and that's significant to me because Houston this year, when Blanco's on the mound, uh, they are 8-1 and one in his 199 ERA and 101 whip through that course of time. Has a lot to do with it. He's also averaging a healthy six innings pitch per start. And the Houston bullpen over the last seven has done a very good job uh, as a staff of 204 ERA and a 1.19 whip during that time. The Astros pitching staff as a whole uh, over the last nine games is only allowing 2.4 runs per game. Uh, Pablo Lopez, you know, he's intriguing to me, uh, Steve, in the respect that when he first came up to the majors with the Marlins and then later being traded to the Twins, I thought this guy was going to be a genuine star the way he started out. But you know what? He's hit sort of a brick wall uh, that a lot of young pitchers do early on in their career, and especially so over his last three starts where he's shown terrible form with a 960 ERA and 169 whip. And he's also allowed during those last three starts – Five home runs and 16 innings pitched, and he's going to be facing a Houston team. Uh, I mentioned they're much better hitting at home than on the road. Well, the Astros have hit 42 home runs and 29 home games this year. So to me, that's alarming that he's given up the long ball with the frequency he has over the last three starts and the way Houston is prone to hitting the long ball at home. And also, uh, you know, the contrary in mindset of mine, uh, you got a Minnesota team 31 and 25, a Houston team 25 and 32, but here we are. Houston's a small money line favorite in the spot. I'm going to go with Houston minus 115 over Minnesota, Teddy. So I want to ask you this because, in my mind, the Twins, I'll call them the streakiest team in baseball this year. All right. What they win? They win 12 in a row and 16 out of 18. Then they lost, what, seven in a row and nine out of 10. And now they're red hot again. They're as hot as anyone in baseball. When you have a streaky team like the Twins, why do you want to stand in front of them when they're streaking up? Well, I mean, a streaky team, again, you, you mentioned it. To me, if, if, if a team is really good and you're convinced of the fact this is a genuine top five team in baseball and they're red hot, that's one thing. I don't feel that way about the Twins. So they don't scare me in this situation. And I don't think the Twins are as good as their record is. And I think Houston's much better than the record is. And I think Houston's a team for me to keep an eye on going forward because you may be able to be, get them uh, in a situation where you're getting value on them just because of their disappointing start to the season. So that's where my mindset is uh, on this one, Teddy.